to the bird of passion. It is time to capture our stand in the scheme of things in local, state, and federal government. Now is the time to register our structure, to make our connections, and to utilize our brotherhoodness. To achieve anything, I mean anything, at all that is deemed achievable. We shall register ourselves in every nook and cranny of the government, economic, political, business, and social life. Indeed, we have come of age. We shall grab every grabable and eventually get to the top one day. We shall make every prestigious office enterable to our own by working now to get a good share of every bit. Let's rise to the call, fellow apostles. Let's go even for the highest office in this country. Our fraternity stipulates one for it, all for it. One for it, all for it. We must always remember it. It keeps working. It worked for us during my time of struggle. It worked for us during my time of struggle for the post of secretary to the government of the Federation. This fraternity has all it takes. I don't see why we cannot eventually be the cock that crows in any aspect of our national life. One must be mindful that this is our mission and it must be accomplished. The hope shall be. I Fellow apostles, and the brotherhood of the hawk. It is concession time. The hawk shall be. And we shall be forever. Fellow apostles of the brotherhood of the hawk. Chief apostle of the hawk. I wish to seek concession of this brotherhood on my recent ambition to place the seat and office of the Chief Justice of the Federation. The hall shall be. Well, 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 my girl. 
not to. Ah, now tell me, that what could have kept my wife from coming to give me a welcome home kiss at the airport? You know why, Dad. <laughs> well, I trust her. Now tell me, how's everything at home? Very, very lonely. And Daddy, we've been dying <coughs> to have you back. Oh, oh, my dear girl. I am back. I am back. I missed you all. We missed you too, Daddy. Oh, uh, we missed you so much. Oh, my dear. I am back. Oh, I am back. Thank you very much. Please sit down, sit down. Oh, thanks. Um, by the way, how was your trip? Oh, wonderful. Oh, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> uh, how are you people up there at the villa? Well, 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 our problem is you people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, quite frankly, uh, Mr. President had been continually bothered over the issue of travesty of justice within the judiciary. Yes. Yes, it really calls for that. What's the latest? Well, if you are referring to the Femi Babalola issue, suddenly the way he did present his case, he sure had a point to prove. Although Shegu did not openly accept having uh, uh, accepted bribe, but what I did read in the papers, there was this portion where he did say that uh, Femi's accusations were unfounded and frivolous. Uh, but you see, something sets me thinking, and that is that um, he did not offer explanations as to why he suddenly halted proceedings in a case whose parameters were yet to be clearly defined. Mm. Mm. I didn't know that uh, Shagun could be so materialistic. Well, it only goes to show the extent to which honorable members of the bench could go. Well, if you ask me, I would say that um, a George, a credible one that can guarantee mature and fair hearing, that was what that case needed. Well, I, I, I believe we have few colleagues who could do that. Oh, certainly. But one could still refer to this as a very sensitive one. Mm. Uh, Osakwe, tell me, have you heard that you're a nominee? 
Look at him, look at him. Frank, is this one of your pranks? No, 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 no. On the contrary, it might interest you to know that uh, Mr. President himself submitted your name to us. Good God. While Sekibo did that of Lucas. Well, whatever I can do to uphold the cause of justice, I shall do it. Very good. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Why not? No. <laughs> uh. Sir, uh, Constable, you have to go to the waiting room and bring uh, the detained the justice to Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remember, you have only 10 minutes to stay with him. Um, yes, I know. Um, Chief. Well, I, I've come to tell you of some positive and favorable indications so far. Um, Justice Robert Osakwe has been assigned to try your case. And uh, I suggest you call him now and have a chat with him so that we can begin to sample his mind. <laughs> there is nothing positive and favorable in that. No Robert will even send his wife to jail if, if, it, is, if it comes to be the truth. Robert does not compromise anything when it comes to justice. But, uh, if you say so. Yes, just uh, there's no harm in trial. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, Robert Osakwe here. Who's speaking? Ah, uh, Robert. This is Shego. Speaking from the Central Police Station. Oh, Shegun. Oh, how are you? Well, uh, definitely not fine. It's a pity, my brother. A real pity. But how, how are you in, uh, in totality? Well, I still can't say fine. Uh, how was your holiday? Oh, my holiday was fine. Oh, it was fine. It was just fine. Now, tell me, Shegun, what really happened? Well, uh, you know that I have a limited time to talk. Uh, why don't you try to pay me a visit here so that uh, we can talk it over? Sir, your time is up. Uh, y yes, I, I know, but just spare some seconds. Well, I guess you heard me. Y yes, I did. But Shegun, I can't. It will not be proper now that I have been officially assigned to handle your case. I hope you don't misunderstand. Well, I, I, I understand. Oh, Shagun. God bless you. Yes. Bye-bye.
grass tanks. So much. We've got beautiful roads now, I know. <laughs> beautiful houses. Do you know one thing, baby? Do you know my dad will be surprised to see me? Mm -hmm. Just like mine too. For real, because they don't know that I'm coming back. I didn't Nobody... tell them I was coming back. Oh, you didn't tell us? Yes. Well, I guess that's the reason why nobody came to meet us at the airport. Very big surprise. Very big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, to be honest with you, I was trying my daddy on the line. I couldn't get him, so I said, wow, I can take handle things. Look at that, look at that. What's that? <laughs> the bike guy. Hey, look at that, man. It's great. All right. You know one thing, huh, baby, I can really wait. I can't really wait to meet your parents. Huh? So I think to them, you know, pay your bride price and boom, I'm back. You know, I have to really go take care of the Saudi project, you know. Uh, yeah, you said yeah. so. I have to, I have to run along, baby. I look like a horn, baby. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. I'm just happy we're back, you know. Do you know what's gonna happen, baby? We'll go straight to your house, you know. Yeah. Drop you off, and the cab will take me down to my house, okay? Oh, stop it! <laughs> Introduce here my friend Collins Olushegun. Collins meet my parents, Justice and Mrs. A. O. Osokwe. Oh. Good evening, sir. Uh, pleased to meet you, young man. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, sir. Um, Edna here told me a lot about you, and um, I'm delighted to be here, sir. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. <laughs> How about something to drink and perhaps food as well? Oh, that would have been very, very nice, uh, but um, as you can see, I'm just coming back from the state and uh, I really need to see my people, you know, uh, probably come back tomorrow for all that. But that's okay by you, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, mommy, daddy, uh, let me see him off. Okay. I'll give you some other time.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Well, my brother, I have no choice at all. This is blackmail by someone who knew the impossibility in the issue of a member of the bench inducting another for any reason whatsoever. Besides, uh, Shagun is like a brother to everyone on the bench. How much more yourself? You see, it is a difficult situation mm. indeed. Yeah, well, I just pray that God will continue to guide me. Amen. Let's not forget, congratulations on your nomination for the office of the CJ. Chief Justice! <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Just a su suggestion. Yes. Well, it's nice to see how happy it makes you who are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, registrar, call the suit. Suit number FHA slash ABJ slash CS slash 165 slash 2001. The Nigeria Police Plaintiff versus Mr. Justice Olusegun Amosu, Defendant. Charges, one, demanding an accepting of bribe, two, Unconstitutional dismissal of a case brought for due trial and judgment before this honorable court, presided over by the defendant, pleading guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Counsel for the defendant, straighten your client's plea. Thank you, my lord. My Lord Justice, other members of the bench present, my colleague, counsel to the complainants and senior advocate of Nigeria, my colleagues, the distinguished members of the bar, honorable members of the public, ladies and gentlemen present, and thus cuts. With due regards to the constitutional powers of this honorable court, I do solemnly present this preliminary objection against the suit number FHS slash ABJ slash CS slash 165 slash 2001 filed against my client, Mr. Olushogun Amosu, M-O-N, by the Nigerian Police Force, NPF, on, on count charges of bribery and unconstitutional dismissal of case number FHA slash ABJ slash CS slash 165 slash 2001 brought before the Honorable Court of my client and defendant on the 12th of January 
2001 by the same Nigerian police force against two members of the Imo State Executive Council on count charges of alleged murder of the late Commissioner of Police, Badwin Bandot, in his residence in Owere on the 4th of January the same year on grounds of its lack of merit and constitutional asylum that can grant this honorable court the local standing to try the suit before it. In details, I wish to bring to the notice of this honorable court that it lies within the powers of the Federal Court of Appeal vis-a-vis -vis the Supreme Court of the Federation to rehear an already heard case or suit, and that no other court of lower jurisdiction than that of the Court of Appeal or the Supreme Court of the Federation of Nigeria is given the constitutional backup to rehear an already decided suit. Consequently, therefore, any such illegal hearing of such cases is contravenous to Section 27, Subsection 4A of the 1999 Constitution. Meanwhile, this act of wanton violation of legal process by the complainants is a breach to the Judicial Code of Conduct, Section 4, Paragraph 18, which states that a judge cannot be sued for his comprehensive fair judgment of a case, but can only consent to the retrial of any such case in a court of higher jurisdiction. To this end, therefore, I pray this honorable court to strike out this suit for lack of merit and constitutional antecedents. Secondly, I implore the constitutional powers of this court to grant my client bail, since this can be understood as to being non-conforming, non-legitimate, and non-consenting to the convergence of the law. Again, I seek the immediate arrest and prosecution of all police officers who were involved in the inhuman treatment meted out to my client in the prison, which is a total violation of his statutory human right and rights as a senior citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you, my Lord. Counsel to the complainant, do you have any objections to the pleas of the defendant? Uh, yes, my Lord. My Lord, first and foremost, I would like to educate the ignorant minds of the defendant that the institutionalization of this suit is not based on whether it is fair or not, but on the grounds that even if it was fair, he demanded for and collected a bribe, which my learned colleague failed to point out as a crime against the law and has constitutional punishments attached to it under section 8, subsection 19 of the criminal code. Secondly, I will quote part of my colleague's write-up, which calls suit number FHA slash ABJ slash CS slash 165 slash 2001 an already decided suit. Well, to that end, my lord, I pray this honorable court to take a look at the closing statement of the defendant on the purported judgment day. Now, my lord, I would want your lordship to use your outstanding knowledge of the law and your finesse in the act of interpreting the law to interpret if those statements were a judgment or a mere decision born out of prejudice and venality. 
So I contend the fact that the case is not an already decided case, as in the words of counsel to the defendant. Coming to the quotation from the Judicial Code of Conduct, I would like to bring to the annoying notice of my learned colleague that such a charade as contained in the statements passed out to my Lord does not resemble any comprehensive fair judgment, nor does it qualify as one. So I advise my learned colleague, Mr. Udenze, please go and prepare your case to defend your client on the charges of bribery brought against him on his plea for the arrest and prosecution of the police officers who were doing their lawful job. I see that more as a ruse than a point. Because you have to first of all prove that your client is innocent of the charges of bribery leveled against him, instead of taunting my clients for doing a lawful and commendable job of interrogating a common criminal. Interrogating? Yes, of course. Did you, did you call it interrogation? Of a common criminal, yes. Enough of that, gentlemen. Enough. Yes, my lord. Enough. Yes, my lord. Ah, Chief Babalala, please carry on. Uh, that'll be all for now, my lord. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. <clears throat> well, this honorable court is granting defendant a reprimand on bail for the rest of the hearing of this suit. Mr. Odenze, lord. I advise you to go and prepare your case. This honorable court has every constitutional right to try this case, and you know that. Yes, my lord. This court will adjourn for further hearing on, on, until the 27th of next month. I repeat, this honorable court will adjourn this case for further hearing until the 27th of next month. The court shall rise. Court! I think matter you will enjoy it. My dear, this is beautiful, thank you. This is wonderful. Mm. You're welcome. You know it's my favorite. <laughs> mm. And now, my dear, I am sure there's something you've been keeping from us ever since you came back. I have never seen you this happy. So, can we... Can you let us into this excitement? Mommy, Daddy, I was waiting for the right time to tell you. I found someone I want to marry. Oh, my daughter! <laughs> mm, that's a wonderful news! And uh, who is this lucky man? Call his dad. The man I came back with from the US. He'll be coming with his people to see you. And um, what does he do? Daddy, he's an engineer. I mean, he's an aeronautic engineer. In fact, he just got a three-year contract from a, a Saudi Arabian billionaire to maintain his private jets. Hmm. And I'll be joining him later. Daddy, he loves me so much. I mean, he can't wait to get married to me. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Mommy. And uh, who are his parents? Hmm. Daddy, both parents are dead. Yeah. And he was raised by, by his father's younger brother, your friend and colleague. And um, who is this uh, colleague of mine who is to become my uh, in-law? Daddy, he is um, Uncle Shegun Amosu. That, 
that's 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 that's, that's good. good. That's good. Sister, I'm so happy for you. You can say that again. Sister, come, I have something just for you. Excuse me, excuse me, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> what is wrong? This cannot be happening. I don't understand. Trouble ahead. My dear, trouble ahead. Hello? Hello? Ah, is Chief online? Ah, good afternoon, CJ. Good afternoon. It is seven days now I handed over that case file to you. What are your plans? Oh, well, I'm trying to work out something before... Things like what? <clears throat> now listing Justice Robert Osakwe. <clears throat> if you don't want any trouble at all, then commence hearing on that case on or before Monday next week. Is that clear? Um, um, yes, yes, CJ. Good. This is the lady I told you about, um, Chief Osakwe's daughter, baby. Good afternoon, Dad. Parents. Good afternoon, okay. my dear. Mom, good afternoon. Good afternoon. God, I thank you. Good thing is about to happen to this family. <laughs> you are welcome, my dear. Thank you. Please sit down. My son had uh, informed me about you and I am indeed very, very happy. I will make arrangements shortly for members of my family to come and visit your family so that this relationship of yours can be permanently cemented. Thank you very much, sir. That will be wonderful, sir. That will be wonderful, Dad. That's great. How is your father anyway? It's fine, sir. Good. Say the word to him. Son, why don't you invite your pretty lady and offer her a drink? Oh, um, I think I will. Let me take her to my Excuse me. Well, how are you? Forgive me if I'm not being very formal. We all know the tradition. Unfortunately, I cannot lay claim as a consider of it. So you can excuse my naivety. <laughs> uh, first of all, I want to, on behalf of my entire family, thank you, my great friend, and your family for what you have done, for the love that you have shown since my predicament. You have really shown that you are a friend indeed. Secondly, we are here in respect of what will be a landmark in our relationship. Uh, our children met themselves in America and they have decided to consolidate their relationship with marriage. We are here therefore to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. I thank you. <clears throat> Our members of the Amusu family, I greet you all. 
Um, I would like to say a few few words. Um, uh, what happened in court in respect of my friend's case is what any other judge would have done. It is mere realization of his fundamental human right. Well, if the, go the court finds that his freedom jeopardizes the course of justice, then that freedom will be withdrawn, which I will not hesitate to do, friend or not. Secondly, in respect of the solemnization between my daughter and your son, I regret to tell you that my family will not encourage or discuss this issue until the trial is over. What has my case in your cart got to do with the ambition of these innocent children? I'm sorry. I have spoken. <laughs> there will be no meeting between the two families on this issue until after the trial. Daddy trying to do? Does he want to discourage my suit or what? Relax, my daughter. <laughs> Your daddy wants the best for you. I think so, mommy. Daddy should draw a line between his profession and my affair. I love Collins. As I'll pack my things, go back to the US and marry him. Ah, no, Edna, you can't do that. Eh? You know it's against the tradition. You cannot marry without the blessing of your parents. Your mother is right, Edna. You must not be blindfolded by your relationship to his son. And I will not be influenced by such sentiments. Daddy, you call my feelings sentiments? Mommy, mommy. It's all right, it's okay. Everything mommy. is fine. Don't stop crying, eh? I know your daddy's a little bit tense for me, eh? Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. I think he's sleeping at the start. No, I don't think so. An accused can be granted a bear if there's no pressing reason to remind him in prison. Let me tell you, don't accept such a cheap mistake from Osakwe. He's a genius. Indeed, that's a fact. If you can easily sentence a fellow judge to, an, uh, to a long term of imprisonment, we shall see. Osakwe will be the last man to give a damn. It's only that I know he has other internal relationship with Wamusu that makes me feel he find it hard. This is actually a good trap for him. If fellow Benjamin could see the same as we do, it's a fight with all rise and stage against him. He was the main head against our intended 50% increase in institutionalization fee. The ears of chief against his carcass are numerous. The hawk shall be, and we shall live forever. You see, both the judge and his client knew they had no grounds at all. The case is a straightforward one. With those things in court tomorrow, it's as good as a finished one. Yes, even the aide that made these things available to me. He says he was ready to testify before the Honorable Court tomorrow. Good, good. I think he has some grudges against the men involved in the murder crime. Good, so what you will do is keep him in close contact in case we need him to testify before the court. By tomorrow, I'll start giving it to them plain. Did you say this one is for what? That was when Justice Amosin was persuading me in his office to hands off the case. We have to know what the contents are before we go out to court.
Mr. Desmond, it is as if you have not started. The judiciary is not the best place to keep one's probity if you really want to make it. Accept and get your hands off that case and collect your money. The person involved in this case is, is someone who could bribe his way up to the Chief Justice. So stop wasting your energy. Stop wasting your energy on a case. Okay, I think I've heard enough. Well, let's go and thrash this matter. Order! Uh, <clears throat> this honorable court shall grant the request of the prosecution counsel to cross-examine the defendant. Thank you so much, my lord. Justice Amosu. By your knowledge of the law and its interpretation, is judgment supposed to be based on the findings of a court of law or not? Based on the court's um, proceedings. Good. Did your judgment follow suit? My judgment has... Uh, yes or no? Well, I, 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 I have every right to, to my private uh, opinion. Please don't shy away from the question. Answer yes or no. My Lord, all these questions are presumptuous. Dear learned counsel, we do not appear in a court of law to respect any personality. Anybody who thinks he should be respected should first of all be law abiding. My Lord, can he please answer my question? Um, answer yes or no. Yes. Yes? Then how come you told Mr. Desmond Fashano, the lawyer in charge of the prosecution of the case, to take a bribe and hands off the case? Because judgment would not depend on the findings of the court. How come? Can you prove that? If you wish. But I want you to know that I am not under any obligations to answer your question. You should be able to differentiate between yourself as an honorable member of the bench and yourself as a criminal. Oh, my Lord, uh, that, that would not be accepted at all. Uh, my client here deserves an unreserved apology from Chief Babalola for calling him a criminal even when the case is still being tried. For time's sake. Do accept my apology, sir. Chief Babalola. My lord. Please respect the personality of individual until proven guilty of a crime. Yes, my lord. May I go on with the cross-examination? Just one or two. Thank you, my lord. Justice Amosu. Is it right for a judge to act in two phases in one particular case? Say as a judge and secondly as a private defense counsel? Is it right? No. Thank you very much. That will be all for now, my lord. Would you like to read a direct reply? Oh, no, my lord. Um, then bring in the client for cross-examination. Yes, my lord.
What is your name? My name is Sergeant Vicente Nad. Are you a Christian Muslim or a pagan? I'm a Christian. The Holy Bible and Peter family. I solemnly swear. I'm solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall give in this honorable court. That the evidence I shall give in this honorable court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. You represent the Nigerian police? Yes, my lord. Your witness. Thank you, my lord. Um, officer. Sir. Do you know that man in the other box? Yes. You know him as what? I only know him as a suspect from charges of bribery. Suspect? Yes. Do you have any proof? My proof is with our lawyer. And, uh... Where are they? They are here, my lord. Uh, this will... This will go as Exhibit A, and this as Exhibit B. Mr. Udenze, do you have any observations about this um, exhibit? Um, Lord, that's nothing relevant for now. Mm. Well, I think we'll go for recreation until the 3rd of February. The case is adjourned. Lordship, this court will rise. Stop! What could be really be the content of those steps? I wish I knew myself. But it would not have been possible for Mr. Fashionu to have taped our discussion because I'm very, very sure he never knew why. What we were going to discuss. Well, I think it's at this point in time that uh, Justice Osakwe could help us if he wants. I, I don't understand you. You see, Chief, it is obvious those steps are not empty. There's something more to eat than we think. So, you could approach Justice Osakwe. He knows how best to retrieve those exhibits so that they don't ever appear in court again. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that would be the most absurd proposition one I could give Bob because he will never accept it. You don't even know him. But, but he's your friend. And you are in law to be. But you could go through the wife. Because I'm afraid we could be left with no games in our hands if those tabs are allowed to play in court.
I'm sorry to disturb you. Shego wants to speak with you downstairs. Speak with me? Yeah. Uh, why can't I talk, uh, speak with him here? Why do I have to go downstairs to, to, to speak with him? Chief, you don't understand. He is downstairs in the sitting room. He wants to see you. you. Downstairs? Yes, downstairs. At this time? I did not make them wake you up. I was not sleeping. Now, Shegun, tell me. What is it that has brought you here at this ungodly hour? Please tell me so that I can help you. What if anyone had seen you come in here? Can you imagine how suspicious it would look? No, I don't like this kind of visit at all. I don't. I don't. This kind of thing is what should have been arranged in a hotel room, not in my house. Now, you are a colleague. You know what I mean. Robert, I do. But please, it was because of the quest to keep this thing secret that I've come at this time of hour. All right, sit down. Now, Shagun, what can I do for you? Well, I, I am the cock on your right hand. Those exhibits have become knife on your left hand. But I beg of you, please, Robert, please help me. I want you to do something about those tapes. Something like what? Anything that would make those make you get those tips vanish and for them not to appear in the court. Hmm. Well, I am glad you said if I could. I am sorry, Shegun, I cannot do anything like that. No. I will do anything for you to make sure that what you get is justice. If you tell me that your lawyer is not up to the task, I will spend my own money to make sure I get you a good lawyer. But to come here and look me in the eye and ask me to help you make the court's exhibits vanish. Oh, Shaggy. Oh. Oh. You make me believe that everything you have been accused of is correct. And if that is so, why don't you save the court's time, my time, and change your plea from not guilty to guilty and stop all these embarrassing visits? that he is incompetent. I will make sure I get you a good lawyer. Well, I'll have to be on my way. 
I, I had thought that because of the children, we could work things out. But uh, it was a mistake. Say there is added taste to any wine when it is shared, my friends. As it is always in sharing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chief, first of all, I will want you to appreciate the fact that the three of us have two plain things in common. One, we are distinguished members of the bench. Two, we are from the same part of the country. And so as so also our main aim of coming, that is Shegu Amosu Ume. I know how difficult it is to be on compromising truth for favoritism. As well, I know it's a mark of manhood, chief. Do anything to save Shegu, please. My brothers, after all the detailed explanation I gave to Shegu the last time, he still thought he should send you to me. Well, my brothers, what do you think I can do to help Shegu putting aside um, ethnic or professional considerations? Uh -huh. How, how do you feel I can help Shegu? Uh, Chief, you have to exonerate Shegu at all costs. By virtue of your membership of the Order of the Niger, you owe him that. Please, see that he has no point to prove to the court. So what do I do? Halt proceedings and deliver judgment? Oh no, Chief, wait! No, I will not wait! I have been waiting, hoping! that I will get some sensible Chief. thing from you. But I haven't. Chief! Gentlemen, I am otherwise engaged. When you finish, you can go. Oh, Chief. What do you expect me to do? Do I have to stop you from going? Anyway, maybe we'll share the life. I think I have warned you never to come to my house for whatsoever reason. Yes, but there is something I want you to understand now. Do you remember that we have another hearing on your case this morning? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But then why? Why do you continue to complicate my objectivity? I'm sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. Chief, now I, I, I see that it is a sin granting you bail. Move this car.
Sometimes the decision of a court of law gets reversed when it becomes obvious that such decision could not yield the intended result. Such a decision is that of granting the accused person, Mr. Justice Olusheng Amosu, it is hereby reversed with immediate effect. Henceforth, the accused shall be remanded pending the determination of the case. Registrar. My lord. Um, you will ask the bailiff to provide um, electronics needed for the visual and audio display of exhibit A and B immediately after recess. Yes, my lord. This court shall rise. God! Hello? Yes. Pasako here. And who's on the line? Oh, I'm fine. And, and uh, who's on the line? AG. Oh, uh, <laughs> the Attorney General. Ah, uh, good day, Chief. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Uh, and you? Here. Sorry, I can't! I can't! Excuse me. Collins, why is everybody getting cold at me? What is happening? I mean, where have I gone wrong? And why have you not been picking my calls? I am not in a mood to discuss that. As you can see, everybody in the house is in a sad mood. Why don't you go back to your happy family and probably celebrate with your sadistic and a caustic father? How dare you call my father names? I mean, he didn't get your father into this mess and you know it! Yes, I know your father didn't get mine into this mess, but he could at least let him out! And that is, if only you and others were patient enough to the final judgment. Me, Collins, Collins, please, this is tearing us apart. Oh, come on, don't get this twisted, baby. Are you pausing me? You we came all the way from the state to get married to you, and your father so proud sent this man to jail time. Come on, let him set my father free, baby. Let him set my father free. The man controls the day. The man controls the day. Well. My father did what he must do in a more civilized manner. And your father respects that. Ben, 
I would not have you insult my intelligence. So at this minute, at this point in time, I want you to leave my house. Collins, are you asking me to leave? You heard my word. No, no, wait, 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 wait a minute. Look into my eyes and ask me to leave. My friend, leave this house or tell me to look into your eyes. What is in your eyeballs? What is in your eyeballs? Is my father in there? What is in your eyeballs? Is my father in there? Is my father in your eyeballs? Obina! Don't touch me. Don't, don't touch me. It is indeed with no other option left that I have decided to do this. With regret for inconveniences, I pray to adjourn further hearing on this suit indefinitely for reasons best known to me and considered prudent for the transparent and very balanced hearing and sub subsequent judgment of this case. All parties involved will be duly informed as to when the next hearing will be. Thanking you all for your understanding and anticipated prompt reaction to these directives. This court shall rise. Oh! <coughs> My dear brothers. You see, they said we should catch the black goat by day or else by night, we will not say it. We were relaxing because we thought uh, uh, this was a man. He's a friend of our brother. So relaxed. Huh? By now, it is obvious that that man intends to jail our brother. So, what shall we do? Shogun is not only a breadwinner of his family, but ours too. And since someone has decided to take food out of our mouth, we shall not only take food out of his own mouth, we shall take his hand off his shoulder. <coughs> um, Collins, you are the eldest son. What do you have to say in this very issue? My dear elders, I thank you all very much for your concern. Um, I have only relaxed, you know, having the same impression as you all. But it's obvious uh, someone is about to humiliate this family. And I will not sit back and watch that happen. I have mapped out my strategies. You will start here in resort in the next few hours. I promise you that. You are the son of your father. I think uh, uh, it's all over. Yes. Uh, we should start going now. Dad, I really want to know the truth. Is it possible that you're guilty of all these charges? Son, even the lion avoids the hyena when it is no longer safe. I have not been true to the legal institution, but there is nothing you can do about it. So why don't you just wait and let's see? Know that. I, I, I can just sit back and watch you rot in jail. I still have to try my best. I have my strategies, and I have to carry them out. Hey, your time is up. Let's go. Move it. My friend, what is wrong with you now? Huh? It's my father you're doing. Take it easy, my friend. That's a sad. It's okay, sir. I'm sorry. But why take it easy now? That's a sign you're moving like that. A senior advocate of Nigeria! A judge! God! What is. 
here is the breaking news. The trial of Chief Amusu Shego, M-O-N, has taken a new dimension. Last night, two security guards were killed at the court Esbit store, while items believed to be the Esbit used to try him were stolen. Also at the same time, some gunmen shot two warders who are critically wounded and are taking serious medical attention at the LUTH. Meanwhile, the gunmen were said to have attempted to rescue Chief Shego from the prison before they were overpowered by the security forces. This puts the question how secured are the prosecutor's lawyer and the judge, Chief Osakwe, who has been on tremendous pressure to resign from the assignment. Hello? Yes, Osakwe here. Now what is this I'm, I'm, I'm just hearing on the news? What about the exhibits? Were they stolen? Well, uh, yes, I'll come over. and I have decided that you should drop this case if you really love us and for our safety, please. You have within the next one week to come back this suit and make sure you conclude everything about it by April before I retire in May. I warn you seriously. The only print issued by the federal government last week does not condone such unnecessary dragging of cases if you care to know. If you don't take your time, you may leave the judiciary on compulsory retirement. I think my orders are clear to you. Justice Osakwe. All right. I will do exactly as you say. But I must state categorically that it is wrong of you and whoever was with you on the committee to have come to that conclusion without seeking my consent. Government won't seek for your consent for any reason. You work for them and they do not work for you. Period. I have the right to choose some of the cases I try. Good day, Justice Osakwe. Chief. Chief! How on earth could he have made that decision now? Jerry. Yes. My life and my family's is no longer safe. These people are up to, up to some game. Yes. They are all against me. And everyone is warning me about the consequences of failure. For goodness sake, nobody's witch hunting you. You are just viewing it from a totally wrong perspective. Now let, let us look at it this way. Mr. President personally recommended you for the post of the Chief Justice of the Federation. Yes, yes. Are you now insinuating that the same Mr. President will turn around and have you trapped in the final analysis? Is, is that what he will be out to achieve? 
the Attorney General of the Federation is up to some evil. Can't you see? Okay. Okay. Let's put that part of the issue aside. How do you think I'd feel pronouncing sentence on Shedden? I know I never... Now listen, never... Rob. We have discussed this issue once too many. If Femi Babalola succeeds in proving his case beyond reasonable doubt, then don't nail Shegu Amosu. Don't send him to what? jail. You just go ahead and let him off the hook. What are you talking about? Yes, I know. I really do. I know that you want to be seen to champion and uphold the tenets of the Brotherhood. Of course. I am surprised. I really am. As for your security, the federal government is doing something about it. Remember all the good days you had with Shego, and please have a change of heart. Also consider the plight of his wife and children, and our own family safety too. Look at how this whole thing has torn the relationship of Edna and Collins apart. Chief, these children gave our blessing, not destruction. My dear, what is at stake now is not only integrity but also justice. The whole world is watching. I only pray God to give me the courage to do that which is right and just. Oh, Lucas, what do you want to call him his handset again? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm already here. Don't you worry. Sir, come on Hello? already here. Oh, okay. ah. good. It's over here. The hope shall be. And we shall be forever. Gentlemen, what are we going to do next? Justice Osakwe is going exactly by the rules of the game. How do we now tame the horse? Um, Leo, I think we have to go about it in two phases. Since we're only interested in whatever that will make him lose out of the show. Yes. We have to press the button from the top and it lies within your fault. Yes. Um, uh, uh, I, I, I'm afraid this is a little bit uh, beyond what I could handle. Uh, and don't forget that this guy has an eye in the villa. Of course, the SPA political. A wife for? A wife for? Let's talk about something else. Oh, well, I believe uh, pressure would do. Mm -hmm. So let's plan two of our men to do the pressing. Yes, that, that, that is a good and that's the point. That's, right. that's, right. that's, right. that's what we are saying. Be a little bit confused about this invitation this night. You see, we're only here to plead with you to reconsider your stand on the issue of Shegu Amosu, our friend and colleague. <clears throat> well, gentlemen. I appreciate the fact that some of us are eager to find solutions to this problem. I'm also happy because the things that you have been talking to me about, I have tried, but they didn't work. Now let me tell you, I was threatened with compulsory retirement. The CJ scolded me and asked me to continue with the case. 
Even our friend and fellow member of the MON, Professor Jerry Waifu, he advised me to do my best in anchoring the case. Even the club of the MON could not afford to savor the heat it will bring upon me if eventually I get stiff-necked. Uh, let me come in here, Rod. The issue is no longer whether Shegu has any justifiable reason to do what he did. Yes. But the fact that we are always there for each other, especially in times of difficulty. Again, the issue is this. It is unethical for you to pronounce judgment on him, even against club norms and affiliations. Well, gentlemen, I fail to see the relevance of this meeting. Since all you want me to do is something you know is plainly dicey. No, 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 no. No, it's not dicey. It's not dicey. Uh -huh. yes. It's not dicey. Now, you are a judge, I am a judge, and Anthony, you are a judge also. Now, now let's go to the CJ, and then one of you can open, openly accept to take over the case from me. Of course, you know it's not possible. Oh. Especially as the federal government wants you to personally handle the matter. Oh, so you know about that? I do, yes, I do. Uh, but the point is not whether, uh, 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 for any reason, you are... You are, no. you are Did wanted. you say reason? Uh, what is the reason? The truth is this. What do we do outside the legitimate antecedents of this matter to help Shegu out? That's all. What do we do? Well, gentlemen, you should know there is nothing that can be done since anything illegitimate is not in my dictionary. Gentlemen, I'll say good night. on the line? Yeah, this is a friend. Friend to who? A friend to you, Justice Osakwe. Now listen here, Justice. You are being warned in your own interest to resign than to ever deliver judgment on that suite before you are the court. Your house number is 20 Osadebe Street, GRA. And your car number is XA182BZ. So, you have nowhere to hide. I hope that's clear. Now you listen to me, you mafia pimp. Now I have dealt with minstrels like you, but I don't enjoy the tune of such jazz. Now don't you ever, ever dare lift your filthy fingers in the name of calling this number, you scallywag. Oh, Barrister, it's you. Yes, my lord. This letter was brought here this morning by a delivery man. It's for you. Thank you. You're welcome, my lord. The sacred order of this brotherhood wishes to warn you to hands off Justice Shegu Amosu's trial. Hands off that trial. Remember, the hawk is a vicious bird. So don't dare us. <clears throat> ah, Frank. How are you? Hello, Rob. Good day. Good day to you. Frank, um, tell me, who amongst our members is a member of the Hawk fraternity? The Hawk? Yes. So many of them. Like who? 
Um, Ola de Inde Lucas is a senior member there. Is there anything the matter? Uh, no, 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 nothing. No, th thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, who is speaking? Um, this is Robert Osakwe speaking. Lucas, good day. Ah, Justice. How is work? Good day, sir. Oh, it's fine. I just wanted you to know that I received and read your letter. My letter? Your empty threat. Ha! Huh. Justice, if this is a joke, why not stop it and let us be a little bit serious? I should be asking you that if your empty threat is a joke because I don't know why trying Justice Amosu's case would deny you of your daily bread. Now let me remind you, I have every intention of going through with the case. Good day. to stop me from following this case to its logical conclusion. Well, like I said, Osakwe, I will contact the AIG to deploy some mobile placement to your home in case of any attack. Yes, I will. I like that. I like that. Yes. I will be comfortable with that. Tomorrow, your daughter Sylvia will be a cheap catch. <laughs> Hello? 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 Sylvia! Sylvia! Daddy? Are you going to campus tomorrow? Yes, Dad. What time? Around 7.38. Is there anything you want me to do? For no. Uh, no, my dear. I just wanted to know. Yes, this is Justice Osakwe. May I speak to the area commander, please? Thank you.
done have a dream now how you gonna make a dream come true to succeed it's not a joke it will cost you too so be wise listen to your conscience is the key to real success you should have a dream to feel the role you play in this very life you will win if only you will strive to make it right it is true you got to set the record straight it's not Hello? enough to be a leader yeah that's Edna are you leading she's not around to make it right I could see the wait for me ready to give me a fight Look, uh, please, please, please wait until the determination of, of the case no, otherwise no other comment I said no comment cause justice to me yes oh my dear thank you thank you <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, no comment. I said no comment. Don't be calling me friend, a disease, and that is what you are. Shame on you. I think at last we are delivering judgment on this suit against all odds. In the federal high court holding this 25th day of April 2002. Before I, Mr. Justice Robert Umedi Osakwe, Judge, Chief Femi Babalola, SAN, Mr. Clement Udenze, Solicitor and Advocate, and before other honorable members of the bar, over suit number FHA slash ABJ slash CS slash 165 slash 2001 between the Nigerian police and Mr. Justice Olushe Gwamosu, M-O-N, accused person and defendant on charges of demanding for and accepting a bribe and incessant use of judicial vetoes on the comprehensive and conclusive hearing of a suit brought before a court presided over by the accused. From the evidence brought before this honorable court, observations from the cross-examinations of the accused and accuser also from the exhibits provided to the floor and view of this court and the detailed fair examination and observations made from the submissions of the concerned counsels of the court. It has been resolved that one, that the observations reveal to the best knowledge of this court that there was no conclusion hearing or proceeding in the suit number FHC ABJ 109-2001 brought before the Honorable Court of the Accused Person for hearing and subsequent conclusion judgment. Therefore, this Honorable Court is directing an immediate real assignment of that case to another court of law under the precision of an Honorable Member of the Bench for continued hearing and subsequent determination. The Court wishes to pray all parties to desist from any act that could go contrary to the ruling of this Honorable Court today, the 5th of April 
2002 and seek redress in the case of unacceptance and or disagreement in the Federal Court of Appeal vis-a-vis -vis the Supreme Court of the Federation. Two, the accused person did beyond all reasonable doubt demand for an accepted bribe that consequently influenced his dismissal of the suit brought before his court and hence went contrary to the provisions of the Nigerian Criminal Code Section A, Subsection 19 and Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999, Section 17, Subsection 5A and B and therefore is found guilty of the crime. To this end, therefore, he is sentenced to 21 years imprisonment with no fine alternative. <laughs> this court shall rise. Um, get me, get me a water. Chief. Francis. How are you? Nice to see you. Sit down. Oh, what a day. Ah. So, Chief, how did you go? Well, well, well. We must certainly give glory to God. Amen. <laughs> I was just coming from the hospital. Hospital? Yes, Chief. Where Justice being hospitalized. What for? Assassins attacked him yesterday and shot him in the chest. Oh, Jesus. I've just been brought out from the theater. Oh, Lord of Jesus. <sighs> Hello? Yes? Osakwe here. My own daughter, it's your right. Oh, thank God. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, which police station is this? The Central Police Station. Okay. Yes, I'll, 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 I'll come there right away. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Chief, what happened? Three attempted kidnappers. Who, who, who are after my daughter, Silva, were arrested with their boss. They are now being held at the Central Police Station. I must, I must get there. Chief, I have to go with you. Hello, how are you today? Joseph Davis? Arrested? No, I'm just coming from hospital where I want to see Lucas. So where is he now? Okay, I'm coming down now. Nava, please, take me to the public shop. Around without knowing that my men were also following them. Yes, yes. It was along the university junction. Yes. That they trade their mischief and kidnap the girl. Yes. 
as they were ignorant of my men, my men's presence. Yes. Before they would ride to the NNPC junction, yes. my men overrode them mm -hmm. and overpowered them, yes. bring them here together with chief daughter. I mean, I mean, officer, are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, sir. Daddy! Daddy! Oh! oh. Are you alright? Did they interfere with you? So, how does it concern this uh, honorable fellow here? Him? He's their boss. Yes. The gang confessed to us that he hired them. Yesterday, he paid them to shoot and kill Justice Lucas. David, it's you. Oh, you are a traitor. No, oh, Davis, it's you. You are a traitor. Chief, it was the same gang that plated and bombed your car. What? You, you are. Let me do. Chief, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Chief. Chief, it's okay. It's okay, Chief. You, Chief, it's okay. You let me do whatever you want. You have to kidnap and destroy my family. He resumes duty on the 1st of next month with his swearing in at the conference room of the Ministry of Justice by the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes, I, and I wish to congratulate you on your appointment. Yes, just heard it on the news. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we'll celebrate tomorrow. <laughs> Break a bottle or two. <laughs> thank you. Very well done. Bye-bye. Thank you, good night, and God bless. <laughs> oh, 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 my darling. <laughs> Congrats, sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Where is Edna? Oh, oh, darling, Edna has packed her load. Gosh, where is she going? Back to the US. Oh, poor dear. She's so sad about the breakup with Collins. She loved him so much. There will not be a breakup. How do you mean? There will not be a breakup. Because I shall fix it. Fix it? Oh, yes, I shall fix it.
So, you are going back to the US? Yes, Daddy. You know, <clears throat> I, I want you to follow me somewhere. Daddy, I am broken up. All I need to do is to get back to the US, my base. If you don't mind. <laughs> hey. Trust me. You will find it is not as bad as you think if you follow me. Please. Look at me. Trust me. nothing left for me here anymore. I just have to go back to states and probably concentrate on the Saudi project. And what about Edna? That... Just that any time I look at her face, I see her father. I'm so confused, I really don't know what to do about her. But you still love her? Yes, I do. But her father betrayed you. Get man is supposed to call that supposed to call and Favored me. What do you mean, favored you? <laughs> ah, how are you? <laughs> As you can see, I am very fine. You know, I am getting used to prison life. And I'm getting ready to write those books I told you I was going to write. Um, yeah. I will supply the materials. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we deal with them? Oh, yes. Didn't we tell them that we were master planners? <laughs> and what happened to them? And they all fell. Yakata. <laughs> <laughs>
senses Oh, you, oh, you break my heart Be that sick Be that baby You see The truth is I was guilty And if there was anybody Who could set me free It was him But so I held a secret meeting with him. And all those who wanted to discredit him, we had to plan on how to deal with them. And who is happier for it today? The president. Because he has appointed him the chief justice of the federation. Still don't see how you benefit from all this. Uh, let, let me let me let me tell them. You see, I had to sentence your father to become the chief justice of the federation. Oh. And as the chief justice of the federation, I am supposed to tour the prisons in uh, in six months into my tenure. And while there. I am supposed to grant amnesty to prisoners who have been of good behavior and your father is number one on the list. So you, you mean my father will spend less than six months here instead of 21 years? Mm, uh, half a year or thereabouts. In time to attend his son's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is a master plan. <laughs> oh, Daddy, I'm so happy. I bow, I bow to the master. Because I'm so happy there. Thank you. Daddy, I'm so sorry, Kerry. Please, I know, I know I've done enough things against you. I just want you to look for a place in your heart and forgive me, baby. Okay? Please. I still love you, Edna. Baby, please. <laughs> Collins, you humiliated me. You chased me out of your compound. And you're asking me to forgive you? Edna, I was emotional. <laughs> Daddy, you. Daddy, Daddy. Take that, baby, okay? See, I, I was emotionally down too. I was emotionally down too. If you don't have a dream, now how you gonna make a dream come true? To succeed, it's not a joke, it will cost you too. So be wise, listen to your conscience, it's the key to real success. You should have a dream. must fulfill the role you play in this very life you will be in if only you will strive to make it right it is true you got to set the record straight it's not enough to be a leader question is are you leading me right
to make it right I can see the wait for me Ready to give me a fight No I won't, no matter what they try to do I will always stand my ground I will always cause justice to reign I will uphold the law to the very end Enemies, save me your bread Don't be calling me friend A disease, and that is what you are Shame on you and your likes People like you should be wiped out from the Shame. end Corruption.